welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to think where we left off last time. So last time we just done the bobby down trial and crashed into a tree. Um, you can see that video up here. Um, and we'd come back here to the workshop to kind of see what the damage was and worked out that the front beam clip beam, the beam, the beam thing, I think it's called a beam, the front beam was bent. Um, so since then we've gone and found another beam, second hand one. Um, it looked okay. Um, turns out it was not okay and that's what's currently being welded up. So we've cut all the rust out of it as best we can and it's getting welded up now. Um, the old man's just having a go at welding that one up because it's straight, but obviously it's rusty and stuff. So we cut all the rust out, welded it back up, we're welding it back up, ready to go back on the car. So uh, this is what we look like right now. Let's uh, get some light on, hang on. So front end's off, so it's like a weird thing. Um, we've kind of had a little wire wheel of all this sort of metal work that was in here and I give it another lick of paint, which is nice. So that's all come off. Um, let's just see if I can show you the the clip, the clip, the beam. So there it is. So we've got a couple of plates on it, having the this big slot cut in it there, ready to be welded up. So that was where there was like a crack and some um, rust that's been cut out. Um, we are also changing the front suspension. Um, still keeping the like beetle design, the arms and all that sort of thing, but we are losing some torsion bars. So I'm finding the best way to describe this. Hang on, let me let me work this out. So humor me on this one. I'm gonna try and explain the concept of what I'm trying to do here. So front suspension of the trials car is beetle front suspension. So it's got a beam with two lots of torsion bars in, so top and bottom torsion bars and they like kind of like the mini trailing arms and the bottom one and top one are a separate torsion bars but they're attached together because they both attach to the hub that makes sense um which is fine it works brilliantly in the beetle um we do not have the weight that a beetle has got we are considerably lighter on the front end and i think and other people have told me that this is what they think and i completely agree with them that the front suspension is too hard and it's causing problems and it's making us not get our perceptions. I'll, I'll try and explain. So this is my um, my lovely demo here. So this piece of uh, cardboard that I've used to spray paint something on um, is a is a hill, and this uh, this this ball joint or whatever it is is a trials car. So you're in your trials car. You've got you know wheel on each corner. You're coming up the hill, and say there's a bump here. It lifts the front wheel up because the suspension is so hard it lifts the whole front of the car up like so you look that way it lifts the whole front of the car up at an angle yeah and then this wheel now doesn't have as much pressure on it pushing into the ground because this front wheel has lifted it up or it lifted the whole front end up or or whatever it, it, the front basically depicts what the back is doing because it's all one piece now the rear suspension is super super flexy and we've got all that nailed but it doesn't help when if the front wheel goes up a bump it lifts the back wheel up on the same side and then you lose traction now we can't run a limited slip diff so this is a has a quite a big impact on honestly this is having quite a big impact on on the on the trials guys it goes up a section as if it leans over to one side we lose traction on one side it slows us down we can't get up the hill so that's the that's the concept and obviously what we need to do is soften that up so the beetle suspension geometry is fine we're happy with how this geometry works we need to soften it up and to do that we need to lose torsion bars so go this way check my rig out Whoop. so these are from a line bug, I think it is. Let me hang on. Two arms and all that. So, these are torsion bar replacement rods. So, these are from Line Bug, not a sponsor. Um, and basically, they just have these are bearings on the end. So, they, these just twist. I should twist. Hang on. Look. Let me get some snips. That's the worst snip in the world, isn't it? Ugh. 
Okay, so, so see, that twists, because the torsion bars are quite important on a Beetle. If you don't know about Beetle suspension, the torsion bars in the front actually hold the like little mini trailing arms on. So you have a little like bolt, almost like a big grub screw that holds the trailing arms on to stop them falling off. So you can't just take the torsion bars out or cut them or do anything like that because the wheel will fall off, basically. Cut along through a short, it will fall off. The whole hub and everything will come off because the torsion bar isn't, is not attached in both sides. So what these bars do is they basically still stop it from pulling out, but they enable it to rotate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one lot of torsion bars out, so the top or the bottom, I don't know which one, whichever one we feel like, um, and just see what it's like. And then if we wanna take another one out and maybe change the, there's no fucking beam here for me to show you, then chain, because the, oh, it's here, look. So this is the other form of suspension that we've got on the front. The shocks has got like a little coil on them. I don't think that's gonna be man enough to hold the weight at the front of the car, but you don't know. We're gonna try and put one on and see how it goes, so. So, while he's welding that up, I'm gonna talk about rear suspension. Now, I know I've been and changed the rear suspension to, um, gash um, air shocks and all that sort of thing but we need to change it a bit more so i'll come back to that in a bit first i want to show you my tig rig any of you that appreciate a good welding rig um this is one for you so uh let's have a little look around so this is my new rig i've made check it out so ac dc tig cleaned it up um on the side there you can just make it out there's a box so i've got a plug here for my foot pedal in the back of that box, hang on, I'll get a torch. Here's my torch. So in the back of that box, I don't know if you can see, I've got water cooled lines running into it. So the actual torch itself runs into that box, not into the front of the machine. So the front of the machine doesn't have anything in it now. No gas, no nothing. It all comes out the side down there. So it's just that nice and out of the way. So we've got in the front is the two, two leads, your, um, earth and work and whatever you want to call it. Um, so water cooler's all, basically I've kept it the, the right height, I've dropped it right down in the bottom there. So it will actually fit under the bench over there. That's the, the whole plan is to try and store it away when I'm not using it. Um, so it runs a big water cool torch um, in this box here. I've got, um, so the handle's in the way, so when it's underneath the desk you take the handle out, handle goes in little cubby you can open the toolbox that works as a little tray then in there i've got discs and so i've got all my gas lens consumables spare lens for the mask spare things spare head things tungsten so it's a big old stack of tungstens in there and in there and then you've got more gas lenses and all that fun stuff so if you're into a bit of tig bit of you and then my rod storage I put rods, normally I store the rods here so on like a underneath the bench like that um, so now I've gone for the PVC pipe which you just pull it off and there you go aluminium stainless miles I've got other ones I've got to make yet um, that's quite cool that I'll get it back in cheeky there you go Hard doing things with one hand. So the, if you look, the like gauge is down like that, and the flow meter is up like that, just so it gets just fits underneath the welding bench. If you're not interested in that, sorry about that. But um, let's talk about rear suspension. So I don't know why I put the torch down. I need it again. Hang on. So obviously, here we go. Rear suspension. So big old uh, air shock, beetle, beetle trailing arms with this like bracket on the back there for the air shock. Um, we obviously after the Land's End, which the video is up there if you want to have a look at it, we had a problem with the CV. We lost the CV after we finished the Land's End. We finished the trial, CV went on the way home. Um, we've put a new CV in since then and it's not, it's not brilliant. Like it's started to cook itself already just because of the angle they're running. Now I'm, I know, I know that you can get um, like bus or Porsche um, shafts and CVs, but then you've got to change like the actual 
inner in the gearbox and the, the actual spline that goes through to the other side of the wheel for the gain of is it enough that gain that extra gain you're gonna get I don't really know um, so we're gonna completely change all of that <laughs> um, and we are gonna go for MX-5 so we're gonna put MX-5 hubs MX-5 shafts um, and we're going to adapt it onto the Beetle gearbox. So that means that the Beetle trailing arms are going um, and we're making our own trailing arms and to then run off the air shocks. That's the plan. So, um, yeah, so basically this is all going, the trailing arms all going, and then we're going to fab up. Um, the idea is, is that we can just have a standard MX-5 hub so you don't have to cut it about, don't have to weld it, you just bolt it onto the, the custom made trailing arm. So that if you break anything or you know, need a wheel bearing, you can just go and buy an MX-5 wheel bearing and it's easy peasy. A um, little bit of work involved in that because the MX-5 hub is designed for like a, a arm, like top and bottom, lower arm, top arm, that sort of style suspension. So the pickup points aren't exactly brilliant, but we're gonna make it work. Um, so. That's the next job. We're gonna get the front end back on. It's, this still runs, so we can test it with the front end done. And then it's back in here. We've got about two and a half months, roughly, till the season starts, two months. Yeah, I think the Exmoor Clouds is the first thing on. So I don't know when that is. I'll, if I find out, put the date on the screen so you can see when it is. So the Exmoor Clouds is the first trial of the season. Um, try and get it done for that. Obviously, we only have a few hours of a of a night now and again to come down here, so um, should be fun. So we're going to crack on with that. If I, this might be the end of the video. If I haven't got the front end together tonight, then that'll be it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.